Thank you for joining us on this Monday, the 12th of July. After a weekend of triple digit COVID cases, we're back to double digits today. But health officials say the recent rise in cases is concerning. The health department reported 53 new COVID cases statewide. Currently, there are 749 active COVID cases with 52 people now hospitalized. The state is currently 58.6% fully vaccinated. Health officials believe the highly contagious Delta variant of COVID is behind the state's uptick in cases and hospitalizations. Doctors say we're heading in the wrong direction. Nikki Schenfeld has more. Doctors say almost all patients in Hawaii hospitals today are unvaccinated, and the majority of them recently traveled from the mainland, where the Delta variant is surging. 53 new Delta cases were reported statewide in two weeks, but lab sequencing takes about two weeks, which means there are already more cases circulating around today. It's gone from 20% uh, of our strains to 40% of our, of our cases uh, in a two-week period. Hawaii Island saw the biggest uptick in Delta cases going from 1 to 14. Doctors statewide are concerned as hospitalizations, COVID ICU beds, case numbers, and the positivity rates continue to rise. Pretty much every patient that we have admitted with uh, COVID pneumonia has not been vaccinated. A lot of them have also traveled to the mainland recently. So what we're seeing is people who are not vaccinated, who travel to a place where uh, the Delta variant is uh, really uh, endemic at this point. Over the weekend, two Hawaii residents in their 40s died of COVID. Both were unvaccinated. Dr. Shri says last month he had no COVID patients. Now he has 12 hospitalized, ranging from 40 to 60 years of age. So having all four of these indicators going up, is not a good sign and we believe a significant reason for that is because of the transmissibility of the Delta variant. Doctors say the chances of an unvaccinated person catching Delta is easy. If you're in an enclosed space um, and not outdoors and uh, any kind of close interaction with people, there's a very high chance of getting it. The original COVID variant created a worldwide pandemic as we know it. And the Delta variant is 225% more transmissible than the original variant, which created this worldwide pandemic. Health officials say the increase in numbers could also be due to fewer restrictions and more travelers, too. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.